Hi all, welcome to our YouTube channel and let's start with our questions, the most important questions for Pilium 2020. Let's begin with the first question. Consider the following statement. The first statement, the Indian Ocean Dipole is the Indian Ocean counterpart of the Pacific El Nino and La Nina. Second statement, the Indian Ocean Dipole measures differences in sea surface temperature between the Arabian Sea, Western Pole and the Eastern Indian Ocean, that is the Eastern Pole. Third statement, during a positive Indian Ocean Dipole, warmer sea surface temperature develop over Western Indian Ocean, that is the Arabian Sea in particular. Fourth statement, during a negative Indian Ocean Dipole, the opposite happens, that is, the Western Indian Ocean becomes cooler with higher air pressure resulting in westerly winds blowing towards the Indian subcontinent. Now, which of the following statements above are correct? A. All of the above. B. None. C. One only. D. Two only. So you can pause the video and mention your answers in the comment section. Give yourself a moment here and the correct answer here is A. All of the above. Also, one thing needs to be noted. A positive Indian Ocean Dipole is associated with El Nino and a negative Indian Ocean Dipole is associated with La Nina. Moving on to the next question. Consider the following statement with reference to black soft shell turtle the first statement the black soft shell turtle is a species of freshwater turtle found in assam and bangladesh second statement it is originally native to the brahmaputra river third statement as of 2002 the iucn has classified the species as extinct in wild which of the following statement given above are correct a 1 and 3 only b 1 2 3 C, 2 only, D, none. So, the correct answer here is B, 1, 2 and 3. Moving on to the next question. Consider the following statement with reference to space debris. The first statement. It is a term for defunct human-made objects in space, principally in Earth orbit, which no longer serve a useful function. Second statement. The space junk cannot be a hazard to active satellites and spacecraft. Third statement, the Kessler syndrome proposed that the density of objects in low Earth orbit is low. Which of the following statement above are not correct? Please note it says which of the following statement above are not correct. A. 1, 2, 3. B. 2 only. C. None. D. 2 and 3 only. So here, the correct answer is 2 and 3 only. Now because the second statement, it says space junk cannot be a hazard to active satellites and spacecraft. That is incorrect because it is actually the biggest hazard to active satellites and spacecraft. The third statement says the Kessler syndrome proposed that the density of object in low earth orbit is low. Actually, that is incorrect because the Kessler syndrome proposed that the density of object in low Earth orbit is high and hence the collision between objects could actually result into a cascade effect where each collision generates space debris that increases the probability of further collision. So, moving on to the next statement, sorry, question. Consider the following. First statement. Maru Gurjara architecture is a style of North Indian temple architecture that originated in Gujarat and Rajasthan from the 11th to the 13th century. Second statement, it was patronized under the Pandava dynasty. Third statement, although originating as a regional style in Hindu temple architecture, later it became popular in Jain temples. Fourth statement, the five Dilwara temples on Mount Abu are among the most famous Jain temples. Now, which of the following statements above are correct? A. 1, 2, 3, 4. B. 1 and 2 only. C. 1, 3, 4 only. D. None. So, the correct answer here is C. 1, 3, 4 only. The reason being, the second statement is incorrect because it was patronized under the Chalukya or the Sulanki dynasty. Moving on to the next question. 
consider the following statement with reference to recusal of judges first statement if the judge has a pecuniary interest in the outcome of the case he has to recuse himself second statement this does not apply to high court judges which of the following statement above are correct a one only b two only c both d none so here the correct answer is a one only now the reason being this applies to all judges irrespective of high court supreme court or subordinate court and also uh, one thing needs to be noted but the second reason why uh, a judge can recuse himself is when it happens in case of an apparent bias where a reasonable fair minded observer would believe that there is a real possibility that the judge is biased so in these two cases the judge has to recuse himself moving on to the next question consider the following statement the first statement kodai karai or point kalama situated on the koramandal coast in the state of andhra pradesh second statement it is designated as a ramsar convention site since 2005 third statement the veda ranyam forest are one of the last remnants of the dry evergreen forests that were once typical of the east deccan dry evergreen forest ecoregion the fourth statement veda ranyam forest was renamed as point kalama wildlife and bird sanctuary Which of the following statement above are correct? A. One only. B. One and two only. C. All of the above. D. Three and four only. Now here, the correct answer is D. Three and four only. So the reason being, Point Kalama is actually situated in the state of Tamil Nadu, and it is designated as a Ramsar Convention site since two thousand and two, not five. So moving on to the next question. Consider the following statement. Tr first statement: Trans fat is a type of unsaturated fat that occurs in small amount in meat and milk fat. Second statement: Trans fat are edible. Consuming trans fat has been shown to increase the risk of coronary artery disease in parts by raising the level of bad cholesterol. Third statement. Food Safety and Standard Authority of India is committed to reduce the industrially produced trans fatty acid to a less than 2% by the year 2022 in a phased manner. The fourth statement India at 75 that is freedom from trans fat is an initiative of the Union Ministry of Women and Child Development. Which of the following statement above are correct? A 1 2 3 only B 4 only C all of the above D none. so the correct answer here is a 1 2 3 only now because the fourth statement says it is an initiative of the union ministry of women and child development that statement is incorrect because it is an initiative of the food safety and standard authority of india all right moving on to the next question satyamangalam wildlife sanctuary and tiger reserve is a protected area in which indian state a tamil nadu b kerala c andhra pradesh d orissa now the correct answer here is a tamil nadu moving on to the next question munro island which was in news recently is facing the threat of submergence is located in which state or territory of india a lakshadweep island B Pondicherry C Kerala D Tamil Nadu So here the correct answer is C Kerala Moving on to the last question for the day Consider the following statement with reference to writs in the Indian Constitution First statement The writ of prohibition is issued by a higher court to a lower court Second statement the writ of certiorari is issued to a subordinate court an officer of the government now which of the following statement above are correct a both b none c one only d two only so here the correct answer is c one only now the reason being the writ of certiorari is actually issued to a lower court directing that the record of a case be sent up for review together with all the supporting files evidences and documents usually with the intention of overruling the judgment of the lower court 
Also, it is one of the mechanism by which fundamental rights of the citizens are upheld. Now, this brings us to the end of the video. So, for more uh, information on our various courses, please visit our website www.asha.com and for more videos on the most important questions for Prelim 2020, please share, like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.